So this is how sunglasses work. I can actually show it to you by putting some big sunglasses on the camera. So this is just a giant piece of what we would call Polaroid. Uh, it's a Polaroid film. It really is just a big polarizer. All right. So what I'm gonna do is hold this over the camera at a couple of angles and you'll be able to see glare being reduced. So you should look over there where I get the chalk all the time. And if you look in the table, the, 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 the bench right in front of me, and you'll see glare there, but when I turn it, the glare might go away. And I forgot which way I'm holding the Polaroid if this is up or down, right? So glare, no glare. Glare, no glare. So here, you're getting some TE from the surface, and here I'm blocking it. I'm only letting TM pass. So the only light getting to you is diffuse light. So that is how polarized sunglasses work. That's why polarized sunglasses are a little bit more expensive, is because they actually have polarized material in the lenses. Now, here's the deal. I wear cheap sunglasses because my wife won't allow me to have polarized sunglasses. Because if you have polarized sunglasses, what you can do is walk around all day and look for polarized reflections like this. So whenever I wear polarized sunglasses, and these are not, I do that and I say, oh, there's some polarized sun glare over there. That's interesting. And I think about Brewster's angle. And that would be bad enough, but I also do it while I'm driving, if I drive in polarized sunglasses. I suddenly do this and she gets really mad. So. So no polarized sunglasses for me, and now maybe you can never wear polarized sunglasses again either, because it'll be safety hazard.